All right, we want to start this fly with a size 20 dry fly hook and black 70 denier thread. Okay, we're going to take a piece of this knot. It's like a light tan organza. And we're going to take one piece, fold it in half, and then half again. And cut off the ends to make it even on the ends so it's easier to tie in. And then we're going to tie this in and run the thread all the way back. And this is going to be our tail of the fly. And then you're going to cut that off to be the same length, or twice the length of the body. All right, now you want to grab a piece of floaty yarn, whatever kind of yarn you'd use for a pedestal on an on a Adams. You could even use a uh, calf hair, but uh, I like to use the floaty synthetic yarn, um, and I use it in gray. You're gonna make two loose wraps, and then you're gonna spin it around and start your figure eight. Put two loose wraps to the side, Spin it around, put some wraps behind it, some wraps in front of it, and start your figure eight. And I'm going to show you here how you do a figure eight. I'm going to turn the fly and show you what it looks like from up above. You go around, and I'll show you the direction of the figure eight. If you figure eight, put your wing like that. Okay, now. You want to go and build up your body. Not very, you don't want to make a big fat body. You just want to build it up a little bit bigger than this, the diameter of the shank of the hook. So you want to build it up a little bit. Then you want to move your, your thread to the front of the wings. Put a couple thread wraps to start your head, whip finish it, cut. But don't go anywhere because when I'm talking whip fishing, I have a lot to tell you yet. I have to explain to you yet. Fly ain't done yet. Don't go anywhere yet.
Now you want to trim the wings the same length of the body. Make sure they're the same on both sides of the fly. Hey, I hope you like that video. Tie these up in different colors, cream, black, or deadly in all these colors. Go check down our Patreon down below. Check out our merch down below. And if you guys keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and don't give them fish a sore lip. You have a good day. See you next week.